When it comes to making a strategy, I think it always starts with gathering good information. Ideally, you should be finding information that gives you a good view of what's happening both inside your group or organization, as well as what's happening out in the environment. Our context at Strategy Made Simple is in helping organizations with their strategic planning, and this framework comes out of that work. That being said, I think this framework helps with most forms of decision making and planning. To start, you need to find out what has happened in your organization's history. What events led to the choices and conditions for where you are now? To start getting that timeline, you can go through internal documents and records. You could review media articles that have been written about your organization. You can ask longtime staff and members what they know and remember about previous decisions and why they were made. Moving towards the present, you need to know where the organization is now. What is happening in the various departments or activity areas? What's the status of administration, operations, and finance? What concerns, plans, and hopes are present in each department? To better understand this present moment, you can run surveys designed to gather information, not to persuade. You can gather reports on the amount of work that's being done and in which areas. And you can interview staff based on the current state of their work. You could also create reports on the proportion of work and the revenue that's coming from each of those various sources. And you can create reports that are analyzing what activities gather the most attention or contribute the most to stakeholder goodwill. Transitioning from sources that are inside your organization to information sources that are outside your organization, you should have a sense of what others see in your organization. To learn this, you can send surveys or interview requests to partners. You can review feedback from end users, customers, and or beneficiaries. Feedback forms are great for this. And you can analyze the perspective of publications that are written about your organization. Finally, you will need to have a sense of what's happening around you in the broader environment. To learn this, you can find articles about trends in your sector and among your competitors. You can watch for the tone and the trend in policies that relate to your sector. You can collect expert analysis on economic trends, and you can pay attention to technologies that are coming up and that are being developed that could affect your work. With all of these elements, you can start to create a SWOT analysis with your leadership team to make sure you're all working off of the same foundation when you move to defining the direction of your group and making decisions about how to get there. What we've been talking about in this video are examples of what we do at the beginning stages of strategic planning here at Strategy Made Simple. When we're working with our client organizations, we go through this process so everybody has the information that they need to start making good decisions. If you're looking to develop or revise your strategy, please feel free to email me for advice or to get custom support for your organization. Email me at info at strategymadesimple.ca.